Colleagues, I want to thank every single GP and GP registrar across the country who's taken part in our referendum these past three weeks. The headline result is in and you've smashed it. Don't forget, this referendum wasn't even a ballot. It was a practice run for what's coming next. But had it been a ballot, it would have easily passed the thresholds. This referendum was a temperature check of the profession and we are at boiling point. Colleagues, I'm overwhelmed that so many of you have voted so clearly against this contract. An unequivocal result that will demand NHS England, the Department of Health, government and other parties now sit up and take notice. We are one profession which speaks with one voice and says, enough, time's up. This third consecutive annual contract imposition does not give practices stability. It does not give us hope. And this contract, which government are choosing to impose upon us, is not safe. Today, GPC England is meeting to decide the next steps we'll be taking as a profession, knowing you're standing right behind us. We'll get more data and a results breakdown after Easter, and we'll share that with you in due course. When I qualified as a GP in 2008, general practice was called the jewel in the crown of the NHS. But general practice has been demeaned, diminished, diluted, bullied and gaslit long enough. Today, we start the fight back, bringing our patients with us. Because patients want access to their family doctor in a surgery that feels safe, with a well-resourced team ready to meet the needs of our communities. And that's what we want too. Because we're the bedrock upon which the rest of the NHS stands, with 400 million patient contacts a year. Almost 1.4 million every single day. That's a lot of voters. So congratulations, Team GP. The battle to save general practice has begun.